it is considered that young children have very open minds and so are regarded as being susceptible to seeing ghosts. In this case, the little boy's mum was terrified to discover what was keeping her little boy awake at night. When Miss S and her young son moved into a flat in Shellfield, Miss S knew that she needed to do some renovation work. Miss S began cleaning and redecorating straight away, which included the thankless task of removing a thick layer of nicotine from the window wall of one of the rooms. The family settled in well and were happy with their new home. However, Miss S soon became aware that her son always seemed to be tired in the morning. This too had been noticed by his nursery. Miss S was confused because her son was always settled at night and was always asleep whenever she checked on him. The situation continued for weeks. Then, one day, as they were on their way to nursery, Miss S asked her son why he always seemed so tired in the morning. It's because the old man keeps talking to me, he replied. Miss S was shocked, but hid this and said nothing to worry her son. Miss S decided to move her son out of the room immediately on her return to the flat. If she was in any doubt that her son was telling the truth, his absence from his bedroom that night was to reveal the answer. That night, her son's old bedroom seemed to come to life, as everything left behind in the room, including books and toys, were hurled around the room by unseen hands or an unseen force. Terrified, Miss S watched poltergeist activity unfold in her son's old bedroom as he lay next to her fast asleep. The noise and commotion did not wake him up. After witnessing the aggressive poltergeist activity in the flat, Miss S packed everything and they moved out the following day. When Miss S handed the keys back to the landlord, she complained about the ghost in her son's bedroom and asked if the landlord had known anything about the history of the flat. The landlord told her that nothing had been said before about such things, but he was aware that an old man who had lived there before was a heavy smoker and in his later years, before he died in the room, took to sitting in a chair looking out of the window and watching the world go by. The room in question was the one she had turned into a bedroom for her son. 